Hey guys, um, I don't usually plug a product, but this one is got me very excited. Uh, I typically work in Mudbox, but Sculptress is a nice, quick, easy, um, no frills 3D sculpting tool. And you can go to Sculptress.com. It is free. The owner doesn't ask for a donation, but he obviously he mentions that if you feel like donating, please do. Um, this isn't his full-time job. He just did this as kind of for himself and decided to release it. And there's a whole history you can read about it here. Anyway, Sculptures.com download. It's a 3.2 megabyte download, which is incredible um, for what it does. And you download it, you unzip it. You don't even install it. Just unzip it to a folder and double-click on the executable and you're up and running. Um, so here's what it looks like when you first open it. Um, going to cover some of the basic tools. I'm just starting to play with it myself, but from what I found, it's really pretty amazing. Um, so this is really your entire interface. This is how nice and simple it is. I do like to use keyboard shortcuts. Um, just as a quick thing, we're on paint right now. I'm not going to adjust anything just yet, but, but you're going to want to use a three button mouse uh, with a wheel in the middle. You know, the third button is the wheel. Um, so left clicking builds up. Oh, take it off of, we're on draw, clay, that's fine, alright, why aren't you drawing, oh you are, the strength is too low, so we left click and you can see how it's building up clay, okay, I'm even gonna, you know, I'll just build up a bunch, so you can see how it's left clicking, lays it down, if you're on a crease, left clicking will create the crease. Let's bring up the size and the strength so you can see that. Okay, that's creating a crease. Um, and the right mouse button will do the opposite. So instead of building up with the right mouse button like I'm doing here, if I use the, I mean the left mouse button, if I use the right mouse button, it'll take away. So typically, left mouse button performs your action, and right mouse button will do the opposite of that action. So with the left mouse button with draw, I'm building up some clay. And with the right mouse button on draw, I'm knocking it down. Now you see some polygon edges. That's because my level of detail here is is at its lowest. And I'll explain why I keep it at the lowest first. Um, but let's consider the middle mouse button first, the wheel. If you scroll the wheel, you zoom in and out. If you click and hold the wheel, you rotate. Okay. Now, I like to use keyboard shortcuts as well. So holding Alt and left clicking and dragging will also rotate. Right clicking and dragging will pan. Okay, and middle mouse button and dragging does the same thing whether you hold the Alt or not. So let's put this back in the center. Um, as you can see, it's got symmetry enabled. You could turn off symmetry. The program warns you if you turn off symmetry, it's typically a one-way function. So as soon as you turn it off, you're no longer symmetrical. and I don't think you can go back to being symmetric. I haven't tried. Um, besides that, if you hold the control key and use your scroll wheel, you see how the strength changes. And if you hold the shift key and use your scroll wheel, you see how the size of the brush changes. Now, let's address one other thing. Um, level of detail. Let's, I'm going to enable wireframe, so you can see the mesh here in regular wireframe. And if you build with low detail, you're not really adding, you know, like if I do a crease here, and I make my brush size smaller, and you hit the crease, there isn't much of a change because there just isn't enough geometry there to create the crease. So that's where you would up your level of detail a little bit. I'm going to bring it up halfway and show you exactly what that does. Now it's adding a crease, but look what it's also doing. If you if you come in nice and close, it's adding all these polygons as well. So be very careful with your level of detail, because you can look at the number of faces. I'm already up to 117,000 triangles. So this isn't really um, a game modeling tool. This is for high detail models, um, sculpting and stuff like that. Uh, if you're going to use it for game models it might be good to make a low res version first 
import your low res version here and add the higher resolution sculpting if only to create a normal map um, off of the off of the geometry so let's go over a couple other things here um, I just want to cover some more tools I'm, I'm gonna bring the level of detail just down a little bit um, see how deep that crease is you know smooth will smooth that out one thing you don't want to do here's another warning if you're going to use the crease tool and you crease okay I have this crease here now I'm going to go to the pinch tool and I'm going to pinch that crease together okay now if I use the inflate and I start inflating this area what happens is the crease the geometry is now crossing itself on the inside you can't see it unless you rotate to inside the globe and you see how I got this geometry inside now filling up that's bad you don't want that to happen so be very careful um, in the order of you use some of these tools you know there if you do it by accident you find yourself you know you're you're through this really highly detailed model and now you've got this problem um, the only way I know how to fix it is um, why do I have a text coming in? Hold on. The um, the only way I know how to fix it is you know I've smoothed it I smooth it out. That kind of brings you back to where we were earlier. But now you have this. If you zoom in a lot, and we'll right click and pan. See how you got this really dense geometry in here? That's also bad. So even if you fix it, you end up with that. What you might have to do is you click on Reduce Brush, and you just keep clicking, and that'll reduce the amount of polygons there. So you can fix these kinds of issues fairly easily if you catch them early on. Um, if you don't catch them early on, then it'll 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 cause problems. You'll end up with a ton more. Um, triangles than you need. You'll start getting errors if you try to sculpt in an area where you've got internal overlap happening. So you want to be, you know, mindful of that. So your level of detail really is dependent on the tool that you have. Um, you don't want to keep this up all the way for everything you do because, obviously, before you know it, you're going to end up with a gazillion. Polys. I mean, look right here. I'm already up to 51,000 triangles. And you can see how dense they are. And that can cause you problems later on as well. So you really don't want to use a tool like a big paintbrush with all these polys. Um, there's really no need to have that much there. So be wary of that as you're working. You could always work with wireframe on. I, I prefer not to, but it's not a bad idea just to see what your topology is coming out like. Anyway, let's reset this from the beginning. Um, go a new sphere, a new scene. Changes will be lost. Okay. Um, let's cover some more other tools. Rotate I haven't played with yet. I've seen it demoed. I th um, before I rotate, I think I'll work with something else like um, Grab. Grab is a neat tool. We'll make that a little bit bigger. 